Hello and welcome to the show. I'm filmmaker of the future and today's review is Batman vs. Dracula. This TV slash direct to home entertainment feature is a part of the mid to late 2000s animated canon known simply as The Batman. This series featured Tom Kenny, aka SpongeBob, as the Penguin, and Kevin Michael Richardson, who's famous for Mr. Gus, Cleveland Jr., Captain Gontu. Two thousand years later. And finally, the Shredder. Well, that didn't take too long. Hmm. Bender Rodriguez is now our new robot overlord. Now who wants to hear some of Tom Kenny's other credits? No! Alright, now let's discuss the show itself. The story itself is rooted in three major sources. The Batman comics of old, the Universal Dracula films, and the novel Carmilla. Let's start with the first one. Apparently, Batman has faced the Prince of Darkness. Maybe you're the one who's been riding a crazy train, but I've been the Prince of Darkness since 1979. There can be only one Prince of Darkness. Shire! Not him. Anyway, Batman has faced the Prince of Darkness more than once in the comic universe. He's also faced another vampire known as the Monk, but that's another story. The feature also alludes to the universal Dracula films with Bela Lugosi in scenes like this where the Count blends in perfectly with Gotham High Society. Truly magnificent. Oh, my necklace? It's a family heirloom. And you are? Alucard. Dr. Alucard. Bruce Wayne. I don't believe we've met. I am new to Gotham, a recent transport from Eastern Europe. Really? What line of work are you in? Cultural anthropology. I am here to study your city's Batman. Huh. Our cities? You mean to tell me Budapest has a dark night too? Rare instances have been documented of a man who assumes the likeness of a bat in societies ancient as well as modern. And I believe that while instilling fear by night, these beings cloak themselves as normal members of society. The third influence on the story is the novel Carmilla. Carmilla is a vampire novel that preceded Dracula and heavily influenced it. In the film, Carmilla is Dracula's original bride. Carmilla Karnstein, the bride of Count Dracula, According to legend, her bloodthirst rivaled even his own. It seems they were meant for each other. Now let's talk about other characters, starting with Dracula himself. When Dracula is first introduced, his appearance and mannerisms seem very similar to those of Nosferatu and the vampire in Jackie Chan adventures. <laughs> Nosferatu! Do not breathe! <laughs> the Kang Shi is blind. It can only find you if it smells your breath. <laughs> As for the rest of the film, he spends more time looking like the Lugosi version that we all know and love. But overall, as a character, let's just say he is just as cursed as he was in the original story. Now on to the other characters, starting with Batman. One thing that can be said about Batman slash Bruce Wayne's character is that he's definitely no Adam West. Where? <laughs> I love that gag. This Bruce Batman is just as serious as the one in the 90s animated series, and is quite skilled in the laws of science from electric conductors to microorganisms while still being just as athletic and awesome. But of course, behind every great Batman is an even greater Alfred. While he may be the butler, this Alfred is no servant. He's precise, he's in command, and he even, as TV Trope says, takes a level in badass when the Batman needs a boost. 
Last but not least, I will talk about Vicki Vale. While this reporter is no Lois Lane, she carries herself well as both a journalist and Bruce Wayne's date. I meant as my date. Yet despite this, she still ends up as a DID, or damsel in distress, but I won't condemn her for that, as she was merely in the wrong place, at the wrong time, and with Dracula. In conclusion, I feel that this is a great movie as far as television features go. It has a pleasant mixture of both science and the supernatural, while still being a believable story. And finally, it's just right for All Hallows' Eve. I'm Filmmaker of the Future. Have a safe and happy Halloween. I'll see you next time on video. Find anything of value? To be quite honest, so much vampire lore exists that it is difficult to separate fact from fiction. Just ignore the links to the Twilight franchise and you're good.